Hey everybody, it's Jeff. And in this video, I wanna talk about the difference of selling your coins on heritage auctions versus selling on great collections. And I've sold quite a few coins on great collections, had very good experience pretty much every single time. My only uh, thing I wish great collections would do a little better is their photographs, whereas heritage auctions will take, for example, if you have a true view of PCGS, they will use that as their photo uh, which for coins with nicely toned images on TrueView could be a real advantage in terms of what that final bid price might be. But a lot of coins have shifted to great collections and a lot of that is the fee structure. I'm going to walk through that because um, I've been pricing out the idea of selling these five coins here either through Heritage or through great collections. And I've got to say Heritage, the one thing they do well is they're extremely good with customer service. I uh, sent a generic uh, email in through their website saying, hey, I'm interested. And within about an hour, I've already been contacted by uh, one of their reps and back and forth emails trying to get questions answered. Very happy with the experience there. And in the long run, maybe the coins would sell for more because the pictures are better, but the fee structure is just too high in my opinion. It's uh, a burden which makes it very difficult to get max price to the net seller after all fees are considered. And what they've told me, Heritage Auctions, uh, if you've ever bought a coin from them, you know there's a 20% buyer's premium. They also live in or reside in Texas, which if you're in a state that has sales tax, such as <clears throat> we are in Ohio, uh, you will pay an additional seven to 8% sales tax. So really on the buyer side, you have to count for a potential 20 to 28% uh, additional fee just tied to buying a coin through them. And most buyers will account for that through how much they bid. So if a coin is worth, say, uh, $1,200, they might only bid 1000 because they know they're going to have to pay $200 buyer's premium. Or maybe they even bid less because of the sales tax. But I've noticed most buyers tend to just focus on the buyer's premium. On the seller side, this is something they don't post on the website, but what they told me, normal seller fees are 15%. They're giving me an introductory rate for a first-time seller of five. I'm guessing they probably do that for a lot of people. Maybe the real seller's fee is closer to five. They just want to make you feel like they're giving you some great discount. But that, on top of a 20% buyer's pre, the buyer's premium essentially says this is a 25 to 35 percent of uh, hammer price and just auction fees. In my opinion, that's absolute craziness. Um, fee bay charges effectively 10 to 12% plus a 3% PayPal fee. So that's a net of 15. And when you consider it the heritage, that's a steal. So the issue with eBay, of course, is you tend not to get top dollar, especially if you have uh, nicer coins that could be better off in an auction. So let's just walk through an example. Let's say you have a $1,200 coin at heritage. The final hammer price will be about $1,000 because you got to account for the 20% buyer's premium. So that final hammer is 1,000. And if you have a five to 15% seller's fee, that brings down the net amount to you to between 850 and 950. Whereas great collections, essentially the final hammer would be closer to around 1,067 because their uh, buyer's premium is 12.5%. And it could actually be as low as 10% if you pay with your uh, check-in account direct, ACH, which I do every time I've bought a coin through them. So maybe the buyer is willing to pay 1100 because they know they're gonna pay through ACH, but either way, we use 1067. So already we're better off by $67 versus Heritage. And if you have a coin that's over $1,000 through great collections, they don't charge you a seller's fee. If it's below 1,000, that seller's fee is 5%. Now they do have small fees, I think a $5 list fee, most of them are fairly insignificant. I think they've only ever amounted to 5 to $7 per coin, especially on a higher price coin that, that really doesn't move the needle. But essentially, there's no sellers for you. You're going to get 1067 versus over here at Heritage, you get 850 to 950 I mean, that's, that is a dramatic difference. Uh, and I don't know if the quality photographs of Heritage can account for that kind of spread. I've also personally noticed... Uh, a lot of top-notch coins have shifted to great collections, which just further legitimizes great collections as an auction site. So I want to share this experience. Please contact Heritage on your own. 
This is not a for or against Heritage. Uh, I think they're going to struggle with these kind of fees, but they've done fantastic in a lot of other ways. So who knows? Um, that's all. Thanks for watching.